Hello everyone to another Katan video on my channel T set ABCD. So here I am in the second position. I like 5, 8, 10. I also like 8, 5, 10 or 9, 5, 10 here. Both of them seem to be pretty good choices. 6, 9, 5 is also a pretty good choice, especially with a very high production uh, spot. I think 834 is also a good pick for second choice because I think I will be able to pair it up with either 692 or 91011. But um, here I think I'll just go for 659 and uh, just point my road downwards. If I am able to get something like 834 for my second pick. I will be able to get a settlement on uh, 910 which seems to be a pretty good choice. If not, I can also go for something like 84 directly as my second choice. I don't think 84 will be open though, uh, but I like going for solo 8 will also not be a very bad setup on this board, especially with the amount of sheep that I already produce. I did try a similar strat recently going for 8 wheat with ore port um, and I almost won the game like in the end I was targeted a bit and came second so I think I want to try that again. It's fun, it's a little bit quirky and dependent on rules but I think it's a good uh, choice. Although I am playing this as a, it, this is not a casual match, I am still on my road to top 100. So maybe not too much fun, but a little bit of fun would not be a bad idea. Here I am quite sure that Blue wants to go for something like 834 as their second placement. Um, so based on that, I think I can... I don't think red will go for something like 834. I mean if red goes for 834 I don't mind that. I can still go for something like 91011 or maybe even 692 might not be a bad choice. Uh, to be honest I can also start with something like 52 and then go towards the 3 to 1 port first. But I mean, I am a bigger, yeah, I would prefer going for 8 sheep port rather than going for 5-2. Your red is also, red also has a decent setup, a lot of wood, but no sheep and um, very dependent on 8-3-4s. Like every eight and four, every four basically gives him a road and very every eight will give him a wheat and an ore. That seems pretty strong, but too dependent on only these three numbers. And now because red has gone for 834, blue is in a little bit of a pickle. I would surely say that. I can easily go for something like 9-10 to point my road upwards and then try and get to 5-2 later on in the game. Okay, I cannot go for 9-10-2 here. Uh, so based on that, if I go for something like Yeah, if I go for 9, 10, 11, which is a good spot for me, I think black is just a little too strong because black can just go for 5, 11, 4, produce all 5 resources and might also be able to get a settlement on, uh, uh, on 6, 3, 11 before I can get there. So surely no, I wouldn't want that to happen. I can go for... Uh, 
I can go for 5411 myself, but then I will not have any wood or any ore, and that seems to be a very very difficult uh, game. Here, maybe I can just go for the sheep port, or I can directly go for uh, 910. Point my road downwards, get a settlement on. Yeah, I think that is also not bad option here. Although I would want quite a few tens to roll in that game. But surely getting a city on 695 will I will I'll be making good use of the wheat port for sure. But in that case, black has a open board on yeah, he has a complete control over the whole board in that case. So it's a very very difficult pick for me, but at this point I think I just have to go for 95 or oh sorry 9 10 11. I am running out of time here, so yeah, might not have been the best choice. Maybe I should have just gone for 9 5 10 as my first pick. It would have been a much safer bet. Also, pointing my road downwards might not have been. I mean, it's fine. I think uh, black will go for yeah five four eleven point to the right exactly. Roll the seven early on, and red is the only one who has any brick, so might block the eight wheat and target red. Sorry, a uh, wood. Yeah, does do that. Here I roll a 9, but I cannot do much, so I'll just end my turn. Yeah, I don't think blue will be able to get a road as well. So yeah, another 9 or 6 will basically give me the road on the 3 to 1 port. I think that has to be my top priority in this game. And I am just hoping for a 9, 6 or a 11 to roll. It seems like red is the only one who is capable of this trade. I think red might just go for it. Here, I'm just making sure that I can offer red a sheep for a word. Wow, doesn't accept it. Maybe if I offer a 1 is to 2 here, red might go for it. I mean, these are resources that are a little rare. Wow, if red doesn't accept it, it will be pretty bad. Also, a little unfortunate with these rolls. I mean, wow, I think I just have to go for it here. Although it's expensive, but in the long run, I think. I do not have much choice there. Blue will surely block me now on the 10 ore maybe. Although I think blocking the 8 ore makes a lot more sense but uh, okay, thus block the 8 ore so at least blue is not uh, uh, I would say uh, holding grudges here. Yeah, these early nines are pretty good for me. But I think red is in the strongest position though. I would love to roll a 7. I do roll a 7. So blue loses out on a few cards. And I think I just have to target red. I can block the 8 wheat but I think blocking both red and black seems better choice. And unfortunately, I get a sheep from him. Uh, yeah, I would have liked a wheat or a wood. Surely, don't mind these tens rolling early on. Hopefully, 
five can roll just so that I can get my get a dev card if not a settlement just yet. Another eleven rolls here, so let's see if I can get any trades. Yeah, I'm really surprised that nobody is going for these trades here. I think red should have just gone for it. Yeah, red doesn't accept it, so. Yeah, I think my, I mean, rather than going for a dev card, I think just getting a settlement on 910 is more important. And I'll just go for a, a 4 is to 1 and get a board and end my turn here. Just hoping that a 5 rolls in this uh, round and that would basically give me the settlement that I'm looking for. Your red is surely in the strongest position with his early setup. His numbers are also pretty decent. Yeah, if I don't get any trades, I think I'll just have to end my turn uh, with eight cards in hand. Yeah, these are expensive trades, but I don't think I can do anything else about it. It's unfortunate. Here I'll just end my turn. And immediately a 5 is rolled. So yeah, I mean really bad there for me. But uh, I don't think I have much choice. I don't think 5 has rolled even once this game and then maybe that is why even black is stuck with his cards. And everybody is targeting red. I think that's the right choice here. Red does have a very very strong setup. Unfortunately I think I'll just have to end my turn with 7 cards in hand again. I mean red is the only one who has any, she uh, any beat. Yeah, so I'll just end my turn. I wouldn't mind if blue rolls a 7 again. Roll the 4 instead, so. Yeah, cannot give away the precious wood over here. I would surely like a few more 5s and 10s. Here. I mean, although I said that red is too dependent on 8 3s and 4s, I think he has still like he has expanded to 6 and also has the strongest setup here now with 6 3 11 and just getting those rolls early on with 8s and 4s. Uh, the lack of 5s and 6s is affecting my game plan though. Also, 9s, I think 9 has rolled only once this entire game. And yeah, exactly. So everyone is basically willing to offer two cards just to get a wheat. But, um, and red is the only one who might have any wheat because 11s have been rolled. Yeah, so here I think I'll just end my turn. Finally, your five rolls. The only unfortunate part is now I am stuck with eight cards. And wow, red is really getting lucky. I think red will be able to get a city as well. Here I can offer a 1 is to 4. A 1 is to 1 is not going to make any sense. So if a 7 isn't rolled, I will be able to get my settlement and a dev card. Yeah, 
Black here just plays a road building. So here, I mean, yeah, because wow. So finally, I will be able to get my settlement. And rather than going for a dev card, I think I'll just hold on to these cards for now. Because I think getting a city on 659 is a much stronger move early on. And then once I get my cities on 659 and 9, 10, 11, I should be able to get a lot more uh, progress done in buying dev cards. Yeah, unfortunately, there hasn't been even a single role that has helped me in this round. Here, I don't mind giving up a sheep for a... Wow. So, let's see if I can get this trade. This trade will basically give me a city. And if this trade doesn't go through, I will actually just convert my... Maybe I'll just go for a dev card here. There is no point in me holding on to these cards and okay. Wow, black accepts it. Very, very happy with that. He did take his time to decide what he wa what he wanted to do. But now me getting a city on 659 is huge. I think that boosts my production by a lot. Blue will most likely block the 8 ore here. Or maybe the 6 sheep yeah, does block the 8 ore. More than happy with that block. Red can play his knight. Yeah, will block the 5 wheat, I believe. Luckily, cannot steal from me because I don't have any cards. Unfortunately, the 5 is rolled exactly then. Here, black will block the 6 sheep. Should block the 8 wheat, but I think, yeah, does block the 8 wheat. So with red taking that early lead in his setup, he is being targeted a lot. Yeah, I don't mind that. I mean, I am just focused on getting dev cards and another city. I mean, wow. Here, if uh, blue has a monopoly, you can just play it on ore. I don't think red will do here or play anything here. He has four ores in hand, so... Yeah, seems like he has a monopoly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, the way he was spending time to decide what he wanted to do. It, generally, that more often than not means like he means that he has a monopoly. He is just going for a, another city. Yeah, and then Red here has a huge lead over everyone else. Here, although these are good roles for me, I don't think there is anything that I can do. I'll just hold on to these cards and end my turn. Yeah, and I completely agree with blue. Like, roles have not been very uh, even. Yeah, don't think accepting a trade with uh, red should be anybody's uh, on anybody's mind. Here I would want a 10 to roll, that way I will go for my second city and one, once I get a second city, I think I'll just focus on getting dev cards. I don't mind doing a 1 is to 1 with black. Okay, black doesn't accept it. 
Yeah, I don't need a wheat. I mean, eight had rolled recently, so I do know that black has over. And yeah, so this is how my luck has been for the whole day today. I mean, I do get an over, so I think I just have to go for a def card here. And I get road building. Yeah, doesn't help me at all, I would say. Maybe I can get a settlement on the 10 tile, but um, that would be pretty much it with the road building. So, I think at this point, just getting a set, set settlement should be fine. I think I'll just go for that choice here. I'm just wondering, should I get a settlement on the 10 tile or should I go towards the 912, which is slightly better. I think just increasing my ore production makes more sense. And I don't think that 10 ore will be blocked anytime in the future. Like people will surely be targeting only red here. Yeah, so at this point, I yeah, there is no argument and who is going to take the lead. Yeah, seems like everyone is equally frustrated in the, at this point in time. But I mean, the past two days roles have really sucked. Yeah, red does get the longest road. Wow, another four rolls, so there is no point in fighting for the longest road. And here with the six, I think the only option that I have is just hold on to these. I mean, actually, maybe I should just convert my resources into. I don't even know what I should be converting into. I'll just hold on to these cards for now. So, yeah, and uh, so red just wins the game there. Very, very short. I mean, third game in a row, I think it was just the dice that wasn't fair at all. Maybe not the case. I mean, yeah, but fours, I mean, yeah. Fours and elevens, both of which helped. Red. Very few fives. I think everybody was actually just stuck with five where eleven basically give... Gave red a settlement. So, yeah, I don't know what to say over here. I don't think my setup was bad. I mean, I had to trade with red early on in the game just to get to the 9 10 spot. Maybe that did give him some momentum, but still, I mean, even besides that, I think everybody had just, just had a bad game. And uh, yeah, amount of resources block 14 doesn't even cover anything over there for red. So he was robbed quite a bit, but still, I mean, 
I mean, if you see production wise, there was no match. Eights and fours were just too strong for him, and then he got early settlements, made uh, easy progress. So yeah, I mean, total resource score, total resources gained by rolling the die is sixty. Like I am on the second spot, but still, I mean, didn't feel fair at all. Last three games have been a little bit of a downer, uh, but hopefully I can get back on winning way. And uh, yeah, bye for now, and see you again in the next video. Bye bye.